Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. So guys, as you remember, in the previous videos we actually took a look at this uh, computer right here, which is the iBook G4, and I've been experimenting with different operating system on this one. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, I don't know, I actually prefer Linux over all those. I mean, yeah, I mean, I tried more for S, but it was not something that I especially particularly liked. I don't know, for some, whatever reason. I actually installed Debian right here. Debian actually works quite well on this machine, but let me actually show it to you. So this is how it looks like the startup. So we are running Debian 8 right here. Let's try it out. It looks like Debian 8 is actually the latest version you can run on the iBook G4. The reason why is, well, the CPU. CPU is actually 32-bit and you can actually check it out easily if you type ls CPU You're gonna see that basically said 32-bit, right? Guys, the main problem with this distro is that, I don't know, it's not possible for me to actually have sound here for some whatever reason. Even if I type ALSA mixer, ALSA mixer, then it says like master volume at like 100%, then you try to select the sound card, and this is basically like a default one, so I guess it's not really possible to uh, select anything, but it shows the sound right here, but if you try to figure out the device, it's actually not shown in the hardware, so I don't really know what's the case here, but it doesn't work. Of course you can run all your favorite utilities like MC, HTOP, we have text editor, we have VLC, we have Firefox, some kind of old version here. It's actually possible to open the websites right here, let's open it. So internet works, the browser is super slow though, you can see the fan spinning like crazy here. I mean, it's possible to open stuff around, but as you can see the performance is really really slow in the web browser, like even like scrolling around is just not that great. But it works, probably it's possible to like just uh, open some simple website here, read the news, work with your files, just type some text here, and of course I prefer the Mate kind of environment because it's like very simple, up to the point, and I personally just love that. So I have the LibreOffice here, some kind of graphics utilities, come on, open up GIMP, Snapshot, LibreOffice Draw, uh, Internet as you can see just a uh, few web browsers here actually this browser concurrent is like one of my favorite browsers from back in the day just for the office that kind of stuff you cannot even play videos with the sound here i don't know for whatever reason like probably it's possible to install some additional drivers but again guys this is a very old computer so you can probably expect using this one for either typing some text here or just uh, browsing simple websites or i don't know what like honestly i don't know what so what's my conclusion guys and all that my conclusion is that basically running Mac OS 10, either like just Mac OS 10 Tiger and emulating Mac OS 9 there. I'm back to my initial point that basically running Mac OS is the the best option here on this machine. I mean, I don't see any other options. Like Linux just like really works really bad. I don't see much performance at all here. It's like very, very slow. And then we have MorphOS, but MorphOS, while it's fast, I mean, it's not compatible with uh, almost anything. Well, only with some old Amiga kind of stuff. And again, you need to pay like uh, 80 bucks for that for MorphOS. I mean, are you kidding me? Paying for the license for this computer, which is like 15 years old. I mean, that makes no sense at all for me. <laughs> at least the internet is working like through the uh, Wi-Fi and through this cable as well but I mean I don't have much points towards using this one at all entirely so <laughs> it just looks nice I like this machine I like the keyboard here the keyboard is pretty pretty cool I mean just take a look at the sound I mean sounds really nice I mean other than design and just like enjoying this kind of aesthetics of this computer I don't see any much point besides using Mac OS here so that's probably the best option but I have another computer which is running Mac OS Tiger which is my iMac G4 <laughs> so I have iBook G4 and iMac G4 and honestly I will probably use the Mac OS 9 and Mac OS 10 on my iMac G4 and this one will probably be just reserved for Linux and just experimenting around also guys a very important point right here is that without mouse for example this one Logitech <laughs> I was not able to actually uh, do any like right click at all if you don't use a mouse if you just use the touchpad it doesn't it's not gonna work actually right now I think my whole computer just stuck I cannot use it it just stuck well guys that's how it's working right now it's pretty much it's really really buggy <laughs> when you use like Debian 8 or like Linux overall on this computer if you have some like um Mac on G5 chip, 
which is like 64 bit, I think it's really, really much, much better. But this one, I don't know, I would probably not even try using anything besides Mac OS. We're just talking about different kind of PowerPC hardware. In this case, I mean, I do not recommend you trying Linux here. Even Morph OS, I feel like you're gonna be much better with using Morph OS on some much more interesting PowerPC hardware, like recent PowerPC hardware, or like at least G5, right? So this is the state of things in PowerPC world in 2021. Really, really slow, incompatible, and most of the stuff is not even available. If you're interested in PowerPC, try G5. I think try G5, because this one is going nowhere at all. At least G5 has some potential for a 64-bit kind of software. This one is not. I mean, I don't see any point in this one at all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and bye-bye. See you soon.